I'm Lely Faroudi, a journalist based in Tunisia, and I'm going to be talking about the Tunisian baguette, which tells the story of both oppression and resistance. One of the main demands you could hear during Tunisia's revolution in 2010-11 was for bread, for the means to eat and live in dignity. There are all sorts of delicious breads in Tunisia, but this one, the industrially produced baguette made with the least nutritious type of wheat, which is imported and subsidized by the government, is by far the most consumed. Why this bread in particular dominates diets and the origin of the bread subsidy has a lot to do with exploitation in the global economy and social control. Yet these subsidies are now essential for large parts of the Tunisian population and threats to their removal have sparked uprisings at various points in Tunisia's history. And of all breads, it is the baguette that is often symbolically brought to protest, ongoing until today. The baguette can then, or the, the soft weed and the baguette, which eventually comes from it, can kind of be this prism we can look at to view a lot of Tunisian history and see how Tunisia developed into the Tunisia we see around us today. Thank you.